Hi, my name is Magenta with a J, and I'm going to show you how I created this fawn or satyr look in this makeup tutorial. This fawn look starts the same way most drag looks do, by blocking my brows. So I'm using a purple disappearing glue stick, applying that throughout each brow, using a small brush to flatten it against my forehead there to get a nice smooth flat surface. I let this dry and repeat two more times. And then I apply setting powder by pressing it hard into the brow uh, while the last layer of glue is still a little bit wet. And that helps flatten and smooth it out, fill in any gaps. I then wipe off the excess setting powder. For foundation, I first apply primer. And then I'm going to use a couple Krylon TV paint sticks. I'm starting with Ivory, which is actually a color that I normally use in my face applying that across the upper cheekbone, across my nose, above my lips. And then also, in one difference from the drag look, I actually want to make the sides of my brow more prominent uh, to make my face look a little more angular. Normally in drag, you'd want to do the opposite. So I'm applying the ivory, the light color, of across the upper brow there and into the temple area. And then also along the jaw to emphasize that a little bit. The rest of my face I'm applying my standard foundation, in this case it's the OB1 Krylon TV paint stick, and just filling that out across the rest of my face. Once I've applied the foundation, I take the beauty blender and smooth it all out so it covers my face and onto my neck evenly. And through the magic of editing, it will look like it happened in just a few seconds here, although this actually takes a couple minutes. Next, I am adding contour. So this is a dark brown color. And again, different from a typical drag look where I de-emphasize the sides of my brow, I'm actually emphasizing it with this kind of U-shape. Normally, you'd be basically doing the exact opposite with how you would contour. I'm also applying some on the sides of my temples uh, to further emphasize that edge of the brow there. And then when I apply it along my cheek, I'm going a little bit higher on the cheek than I would for a drag look, and also extending that brown down further um, along my jaw as opposed to having it end sort of mid-cheek. Uh, this will help kind of emphasize the angles of the cheek and uh, jaw. I'm also applying a little bit around my chin, which will emphasize my chin a bit more. Again, another feature that normally I would want to de-emphasize in drag. Also using the Beauty Blender to blend it out, and then applying setting powder across my face uh, to let the whole thing bake. Once that's all been applied, uh, let it sit for a little bit, and then brush off all of the excess. I'm now moving into powder contour. So this is a white Ben Nye Super White powder that I'm applying on all the areas that I had the ivory color in my cream foundation. So across my cheek, the upper edges of the brow, and then across the edge of my jaw and the tip of my chin. I'm also now coming back over with some powder contour for the cheekbone. Uh, I used a couple colors here. So I believe I'm starting here with a sort of grayish purplish brown. Uh, a little bit of purple tends to work well when you're going for some sort of um, sort of darker monster-like look in terms of how it reflects on the skin. And I'm just emphasizing again all the areas that I already applied the cream contour to. Now going in with a darker brown to further emphasize the contour and tracing over a lot of those same areas. I'm now applying a white cream paint over the brow, so kind of laying it on a little thick with the, the contrast here. Uh, so this is further emphasizing that brow, and I should note, since I hadn't done this look before, I was kind of experimenting as I went, so there's probably a few more layers of some of these colors than is strictly necessary, 
I also applied some white uh, to the upper part of the cheek to really make that stand out and blend that into the white that went above the brow and along the temple. Now I'm actually tracing out the outer edges of what will be my nose. So as opposed to a drag look where you want your nose to look fairly narrow and pinched, here I wanted my nose to look extra wide, uh, more animal-like. I'm also using some black eyeshadow just to kind of sketch out where I want uh, the, the black and the color around the eye to be, so I could come back in later with a black green paint. I'm also now using white to fill in around the bridge of my nose uh, to help with that illusion of a wider nose. Since this is typically a shadowed area on my face, I wanted it to look less shadowed. And I am just pulling that white down along the side of my nose as well to where I had uh, traced those black lines before for the edges of the nose. And I ended up just applying basically white all over the nose. And then I put in my black sclera lenses. Once those were in, I felt more confident applying eye makeup over that. So I'm putting a black cream paint over my lid. I'm also using a pencil on my waterline on my bottom lid um, to really get a black look all the way around. The goal is to basically make the whole area just look black um, so that you don't really see the whites of my eyes at all. I am now using additional black to kind of flesh out this area. What I found as I went through this is that I could really make an interesting shape by um, creating more of an angle to each eye. So rather than um, looking like two horizontal eyes, they were intended to look sort of like they were tilted downwards from my temple towards my nose. Applied the same thing across both eyes, doing a few checks along the way. I also made sure to blend that out into the surrounding white uh, so that it wasn't such harsh lines between the dark and light and also brought back in a little bit of the white to clean up along the top. While I was doing this, I noticed a couple other things I wanted to change a bit, so I brought down my contour from my cheeks a bit and highlighted the jaw again. Then I moved on to the nose, which was definitely the hardest part for me. I didn't really know what shape to make here. I started uh, by thinking I kind of wanted to pull up the nostrils a bit, um, I went back and forth quite a bit with using black as well as white to adjust how those would look. Um, I used some black cream. I also used a gel eyeliner pen and worked back and forth uh, to figure out what shape I liked best. So you're not seeing just how long this took, but um, I can't say that I really loved the outcome either. I still felt like it wasn't quite right, but it felt close enough for what I was going for. I also pulled that down um, into sort of the, the little divot above your lips um, to give it more of an animalistic look, and went back over it several times with shadow to really get a shape that I felt at least decently good about. Then moved on to lips, where I went with just a straight up black lip. I started off uh, trying something where the top lip kind of went down into a curve on each side. I didn't like how that came out, so I tried kind of scraping off a bit of the black and using some contour shadow that didn't quite work how I wanted, so I brought back in my foundation stick to cover it up and put some uh, setting powder over that that seemed to do the trick, and I preferred just the simple black lips without any embellishment there. I also went back over my chin and along my jaw uh, with some white, and then wanted to even further emphasize some of the areas that had shadow, so brought in some black on top of my existing contour and blended it down my neck a bit as well. And took a little dance break. And then for a last step, I actually did add some shimmer highlight on my upper cheeks and across my brow to really make those areas stand out. And then also across the top of my nose. And to finish it off, 
you just need hair, horns, and in my case, a little bit of ab contouring to really give that fierce beast kind of look to it. And that is my fawn look. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram.